Hello again. Jack and the Clock with more, um, uh, make a good Mega Man level contest too. I almost forgot what I was playing. Anyway, today we have 37th place. Quest mark with Duang. I don't know what Duang is. I'm sure I will find out. Well, it looks pretty shiny and colorful so far. Nope, oh, I have to check to the left. Nope. The music does not sound familiar at all. Oh, the, oh hey, the bombs actually spawn multiple times this time. And they have uh, little bubbles to indicate where they are. That looks like there are arrows telling me to go to the lighthouse. Um, I don't know what that means or if it means anything. It might just be background stuff. Very nice, shiny, and bright, and vibrant world, though. Which just, uh, kind of belies the fact that there's enemies all the frick over the place. I haven't seen a single noble nickel yet. Ah! Do I dare check over on the far side? I don't think so. At least not unless I am um, completely baffled as to the locations. Those cannon peller enemies are probably some of the most annoying in the game. Uh, I'm to being totally honest here. Uh, it's not really an efficient weapon to use on these things. That is not a weapon to use at all on these things. Uh, I do need the health. Well, that's rude. Ugh, okay, but uh, rudeness aside, it's not that bad. Ugh. Okay, let's slash bar those guys. Hey, we can drink Pepsi. Is this a case where I'm supposed to go down? Probably. Oh, well, we're not supposed to go left, so let's go left. There's nothing to the left. Ah. We want the weapon. Ah! Well, ah, what in the world was... Okay, I, uh... I can't say I was expecting that. <laughs> what in the world just happened there? We just got to Wang, apparently. Also, I do not want to be on the upper path. Clearly. Okay. So the secret is to never go left at all, ever, ever in the history of ever. I don't know if it's just, if it's moving left or... What the hell just happened? I still don't want to go left. I'm still pretty sure of that. They're making it certainly difficult. Hey, it's Shantae. Oh, shoot. Oh. I was so close to making it, too. And 
ambushment enemies, even when I know they're coming, still know how to mess me up. to actually defeating Crash Man. Not really. Okay, wait, does that mean I can go back to the game? No. I don't really want to know what happened. What I do want to know is, where the heck are those noble nickels? <laughs> I gotta take a look. Try to find them. I also wonder if I could flash stop with a wall of death. I didn't really need that, but I'll take it anyway. Okay, well, I guess I can not really gain anything by doing that. Okay, then. I am very scared that I'm going to have to jump down random pits again. I do not want to do that. wasn't what I was expecting. Also, why do you even bother putting two M-Tanks in? Since we can only carry one? I didn't even have to do that. That is... This is a confusing level. I don't know what else to say. So let's see what the judges say. I'll have them do the talk. Is this memes? It might be! It's memes I don't get if it is. You know, the arrow 
does kind of have an indicator, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of unclear because when you first see the arrow, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> Oh man, a giant wall of hands kind of no comes out of nowhere and kills you instantly! Ah! Yes. I didn't... I don't think that that happened, but I... Couldn't really tell you for sure. All I know is I had enough Plant Man platforms to get through, so probably it's something fixed in post judging. about whether Flash Stop would stop the wall. I don't remember. Flashman might have done that in the stream, I don't remember. There are quite a there are quite a bit of problems. Gary, in a stage that he gave 40 out of 50, there are quite a bit of problems. Now, some say Gary is hard to please, but he's just hard to please subjectively. Objectively, he gives actually very good scores a lot of the time. <laughs> to conclude, this is definitely one great level, but it has some issues. <laughs> Oh. Gary's judge comments are kind of my favorite just because they are um, just because of how amusingly uh, inconsistent they are with his scores. Ace, on the other hand, is usually the one I'm closest to, although I think I'd give this higher than 19. The, uh, the colors in the first section, though, are very uh, <laughs> bizarrely vibrant. Worst is giving to an introduction to an instant death mechanic I've come across. Oh, Ace. You have not played Mega Man Against the World. You do not know how bad gimmick introductions can be until you've played that game. Oh no, don't play it. Just watch me play it. You'll that's you'll you'll thank me for not making you play it. Also, I think I would have figured out the gimmick eventually had I not already known about it. <laughs> Whatever that scary thing was at the end of the stage was. Are you talking about the hands or the boss room? Because either of those could qualify. So, very divided judging here. Also more we. And then we have the next stage. I think there's this and the one above that. So then there's this and then I figure out what's over there. Next time. Anyway, that's all for me for now. Until then, this is Doc. I'll see you later.